So I've been asked to tell you why you should come and take part in my two-day workshop on making sense of the evidence. Evidence-based practice is one of those terms that everyone's talking about. Many of us would agree that evidence is important and would claim to varying extents to be engaging in and offering evidence-based practice. For those of us connected to social media, the conversations and often battles around evidence usually take the form of people throwing out uh, PubMed citations to different research papers, often I suspect papers they've never read. You know, for the clinicians seeking the right answer, not just seeking to confirm their own biases, that's tricky to make sense of. We often defer responsibility to gurus, to the researchers themselves, or often to the person who just shouts the loudest. You know, negotiating this maze requires developing some skills. You need to be comfortable reading beyond the conclusions of an abstract and really getting into the meat of a research paper. So in this workshop, we'll focus specifically on clinical trials and systematic reviews. We'll work on the fundamentals of those types of studies, what they can and can't tell us, how we interpret different types of effect sizes, and what features make a trial or a review more or less trustworthy. During the process, we get plenty of practical experience of critiquing published research papers, and the goal is not to turn people into researchers particularly. It's about improving people's research literacy, so we, that helps us all become better, more critical users of the evidence. The more we do that, the more sophisticated our evidence-based conversation becomes, and then, hopefully, the better able we are to help our patients. So that's why you should come to the workshop. It'll be interactive, uh, it will develop skills that make you more confident in using evidence, and hopefully, it'll be fun too. So hopefully, we'll see you there.